and baby quilts and bigger quilts too, but baby quilts are more fun because they're, they're faster, more immediate gratification. But I love to line my quilts with minky. It's just so soft and so cuddly. It makes them a little bit warmer also. So this is what minky will look like when you've quilted it. I've just got this little example with, I was just playing around a bit on it. So when you quilt the minky, you really don't see the thread at all. And you can just kind of see the shapes. So it's kind of fun. You can play around with it, do some free motion or make different shapes or just quilt it. But when you quilt with minky, it's so slippery and it's so tricky and it'll get messed up really easily. So I've got a way to pin it that will help keep that from happening. So the first thing you want to do is lay your minky down. And it's right side down. And then lay your batting out. And then you take your quilt top. So you sandwich it just like you would if you were using cotton on the other side. Just make sure you've got minky on all the edges hanging off. So then I flip it over and I make sure that my minky is really nice. See how it likes to bubble up? So I get it as flat as possible. And I take straight pins and I start in one corner, throw pins in, especially along the edges. I want to pin all the way around. Now this adds an extra step to your pinning for the quilt, but it will save you time in the long run because if you don't do this, then invariably you're gonna end up with a bubble or a wrinkle and you're gonna to have to seam rip and start over. I learned the hard way, you don't have to. So I pen all the way around. I just Keep smoothing it out. If you had a big quilt, do the same thing. Just lay it on the floor. Pin the minky first. Get somebody to help you. Teamwork always makes it go faster. Just gonna throw some in the middle here. Just want to make sure that that minky is not going to move on you because that's what it loves to do. Okay, so once you've got a bunch of pins in it, flip it back over. Make sure all of this is nice and flat. And then you come in with your safety pins like you would normally do on a quilt. You would start safety pinning. So normally you would go through each square. Normally when I um, pin for a quilt, I just put a pin in each of the, the squares or shapes. But with the minky, you also want to put one in each corner. And then you want to put some along the edges as well every six inches or so. So you're still gonna put your pins in all of the squares. So it's a lot more pinning, but it really is worth it. So you'd have pins in all of the squares and then pins in all of the corners and along the edges. That will keep your minky from rolling up on you and from bubbling up in the middle. And then you'll have a beautiful quilt lined with minky that's soft and cuddly.